Hey everybody, this is Sully with 5 Freaking Onion Rings, and today I'm going to show you a tip in DaVinci Resolve 17, it also works in 16, that will fix your media offline problem. This is Future Sully, the one who's editing this video. Just wanted to reiterate that this is for when your videos are actually on your hard drive and your timeline was working smoothly before and suddenly popped up offline video. It's a pain in the keister not for whenever you've moved your files or if you lost your connection to a file server that's online. That's a totally different problem. This is for the random weirdness that happens in your timeline when suddenly your video shows media offline. Back to your regular schedule. If you've ever been working on timeline and suddenly you see your clips as media offline, which I've had a lot, uh, this is a quick 30 second tip. It would have saved me about 25 minutes when I was editing my last video, so I thought I'd pass it on. If you like this type of content, please give me a like and a subscription and a thumbs up. If you're rocking the COVID hair, please definitely let me know down below. We're just going to jump right into the tip. All right, so our problem here. See my timeline? I'm working on it. Everything's happy. And then suddenly my clip shows media offline. And it's very annoying. Very, very annoying. So my attempts were to clear the fusion cache or if you go up to playback and you have a render cache non-smart user and you can delete your render cache i tried that i tried uh changing my fusion memory cache a couple of times i even tried rebooting or restarting my project um yes yeah, nothing worked i have just one timeline it's got a bunch of little edits on it and what i thought to do since I've had such good luck with this, come up to the media pool and in here you're going to right click on your timeline, go down to create new timeline using selected clips. It's going to create a new one, just create basic, click there, then right click on the timeline and say decompose in place. And that will create a new timeline and then suddenly everything is working fine. And then I always go back to timeline one that I was working on, the original timeline. Just right click and remove timeline. And that will get rid of your original timeline. And that would have saved me about 25 freaking minutes. Oh. Thank you so much for joining and just let me know what you think down below if this worked for you. Hope you all have a good one. Deuces.